Uh, so welcome back to Real Auto Reports right here at a, well, another snowy Real Auto Ranch. You know, it's funny, every time I go to video one of these cars lately, we seem to get a bunch of snow. And it's kind of in, at an odd time in the season, but that's okay. We will press on and do our real first impressions video on this 2015 Toyota Yaris SE right here from the confines of the cockpit. So we'll do our normal walk around starting at the front. In 2015, this Yaris has not really changed a ton from a complete redesign perspective, but from a refresh perspective, you do have a different front fascia, you have a more aggressive look, and in this SE you have the blackout grille and the fog lights that you can see down there at the bottom corners. Also on the SE model, you're gonna add the projector headlights and the daytime running lights that go just above the top of the headlights. All nice features. Now what's interesting is that these headlights are not automatic and they are going to be bright at night but they're going to not turn themselves on and off for you. They don't have that kind of feature even though this is the top of the model range. Also the driver running lights or the drive running lights that you have on this vehicle that are LED, they are going to be switchable as well. So if you switch the off switch all the way to the off switch on the headlight stock, you're going to find that you turn even those driver running lights off or daytime running lights off DRL. And so you can turn them back on by going one step up from the off switch. All in all, though, it's a nice looking front end. It's got that kind of pinched and aggressive look that most of these city cars have. You can tell that it is in the same design vein as the Nissan Versa Note SR that we looked at as well recently here at Real Auto Reports. Let's go take a look at the side and see what it looks like from there. All right, so from the side, what you're going to notice here is that we have the upgraded 16-inch rims. They are in a black fashion with some machine facing. This has been common in the automotive design language lately. You'll also have noticed that on some of the competition, like the Nissan Versa Note. It is a nice looking side to the vehicle. You do not have turn signals in the mirror though, the way that you do on the Versa Note SR, which is their kind of sport package. You will notice though that this has a rear spoiler and some ground effects along the vehicle as well to give it a sportier flare. The SE upgrading you to those 16 inch wheels, as I mentioned. All in all, it's a good vehicle with nice proportions. And from the inside, given the size of the greenhouse, you have good room for your headroom and good visibility for the size of the windows. The only real blind spot you'd have is in that back area, right in the back C pillar there, if you will, where the head rests in that large chunk of metal is for structure. Now, if we go around to the back, you'll notice that this is in this particular Yaris is the five door lift back. So we do have the lift back door and you will on all of the Yaris models allowing for easy loading of packages. Now what you don't have in this vehicle that you'll find in some of the competition is a multi-level floor so that you can gain extra storage or have more flexible storage. But you do have fold down rear seats and that will give you a bunch more room in the Yaris. However, we did notice that with the rear seats up, you can still fit a fair bit of groceries or other things into the trunk area. In fact, you can go to Costco and you can put a big case of San Pellegrino and you can put a big case of uh, flat of water and probably a few more bags in there like Ikea sized bags, you know, big ones in there full. And the only thing that's gonna get in your way is the privacy shelf that allows people to, uh, you know, well, it allows you to cover your packages and it doesn't allow people to look in through that rear window. Now, if we move around to the interior here where I am sitting happily in this cold, snowy weather, well, this is where you're going to see a lot of redesign from the Yaris. In fact, the dash structure, the wheel, the soft touch around the vehicle. Notice this is still harder, but this is all soft touch up here on the dashboard. You have steering wheel controls, including mode for your radio, the volume, and your preset changes. You have, of course, your wipers and your headlight stock over here with your high beams and your fog lights and your 
daytime running lights that I mentioned before. Everything is very reachable in this car and easy to find, including the hazard switch and the radio. The radio being a little bit farther away than you might realize, especially at a six foot or so height. Something else that I notice about this vehicle, again, is the driving position, and I've mentioned this on a lot of the city cars that we look at. The wheel is going to be at more of an angle, but it doesn't seem as sharp a pitch as it did in the Nissan Versa Note that we recently looked at. However, you do have a gated shift in this, and your seat will actually go pretty far back. I'm all the way back here, and my knees are not too far bent, but you are driving in more of an upright position. The thing is, is that it does not have an adjustable wheel that comes in and out. It only goes up and down which means that you have to find a comfortable place to drive, but then you might feel like you're reaching a bit to get your knees and your legs far enough away to be comfortable when you're of a, a taller stature. So that's a couple things that I noticed from a first impression in the interior. The seats are well bolstered though, and in this SE we have nice ribbing in these cloth seats that give it some interest. You also have some contrast stitching along it. Notice on the doors, this is soft touch in the middle with some hard plastic around the edges and soft touch again and then hard plastic along the top. So they've done a nice job at adding some nice refresh features in here. The other thing nit that I have from our first impressions is that this vehicle at the top of the line at 18, almost $19,000 does not have satellite radio in it, but you can get a dealer installed navigation option now, which is uh, according to other large brand review people, you know, the big magazines, that that's going to be a first for the Yaris. And we have looked at these cars before and never found that nav option before. So we do believe that dealer installed option will be nice for people because it will help it compete with things like the Nissan Versa Node and the Ford Fiesta, Kia, Hyundai, all of those. Some odd things about this vehicle from the inside include these little pockets in the dash and this pocket up here in the top of the dash where I guess you could store something, but I'm just not sure what. Maybe your wallet, maybe, I suppose you could get your phone up there, but you wouldn't want to if the window was down. I could just see it flying right out the door. So from the interior, there are a lot of nice things about this vehicle, and it does have decent rear passenger room. Let's go check out what's under the hood and see what powers this urban city car. So under the hood, what you're going to find is a 1.5 liter, four cylinder, 16 valve, variable valve timing engine from Toyota. This engine will put out about 106 horsepower and about 103 foot pounds of torque, putting it right in line with the Nissan Versa Note and other vehicles like the Ford Fiesta. It is a vehicle or, or even the Chevy Spark, to, to be honest. This is a vehicle that is mated to, has an engine that is mated to a four-speed automatic transmission with a gated shift. It does not have a shift tronic on it, although it does do a good job of stepping you through the gears and allowing you to downshift as well when you shift it manually into the D3 or 2 or L or low. It is a nice driving experience in that the engine and transmission feel well mated for each other. They feel like they give you good range of power, even up here in the altitude in Colorado. And I find that it gets up to speed and it's actually hard to keep it at the speed limit because it just wants to go, go, go when you're in the city. And even out on the highway, once you get it cranked up, it won't get there super fast, but once you get cranked up to speed, it does tend to want to run on and keep on going. So you will like that cruise control feature that you'll find here on the SE. Now this vehicle will get 30 miles per gallon city and 36 highway with a 32 mile per gallon combined rating from the EPA. Let's go take a look at how this vehicle drives from our first driving impressions. So we'll check that out next. All right, so hitting the road here for our first impressions of the driving experience in the 2015 Toyota Yaris. Well, this is the SE, so this is gonna be your top of the model family. 
And what does that mean? Well, we have a sports tuned suspension. We have a sports four speed automatic that we mentioned and that 106 horsepower. Now it has been snowing again here in Colorado. So the traction control from a first impressions perspective is good to have on this front wheel drive little city car. You are gonna notice a fair bit of noise just like when we tested the Nissan Versa Note. However, that's not too bad considering that we have, you know, an 18, almost $19,000 car here. So it's not going to be super hard on the pocketbook, especially with the upper end features that this SE has. Now the steering is nice and crisp. You have a sports tuned suspension in the SE. And even though you don't have a Shiftronic, the four speed automatic transmission will let you shift it pretty much like an auto stick just by moving it through the gears. And it actually does downshift well and do pretty much everything that you'd expect it to do. The suspension handles bumps well. You're gonna notice that it is a little bit on the stiffer side, but it does soak them up well. It doesn't rattle your teeth, if you will. And all in all, from a first impressions perspective, it's probably one of the nicer driving urban commuters that you could pick because it does have a standard transmission. It doesn't have that kind of droning noise issue that some of the CVTs have. And even though it's only 106 horsepower and 103 foot pounds of torque, it actually gets up to speed quickly. And it's interesting, once you get it up, cranked up to around 75 or 80, it'll actually be hard, even with the hills here in Colorado, the mountains, it is hard to keep it under this a, a really high rate of speed. You know, to keep it at 75 or 80, you'll wanna use the optional cruise control. I think it's a vehicle you'll want to check out if you're looking for a city car. And, uh, well, the added sound deadening for 2015 will help keep the noise down and make it a little bit quieter than some of the competition. We'll have the real wrap-up coming up next. All right, so that is the real first impressions video of this 2015 Toyota Yaris SE. Remember, the Toyota Yaris will come in an L, LE, and then this top of the line SE. This vehicle as tested is right about 18 and a half, so $18,625 as tested, and that is with the delivery. And that's really the SE option package only with the delivery charge. There aren't a whole lot of other extras except the carpeted mats that we have here for 180 extra dollars. This is a vehicle that is good for the city. It has good steering. And with the sports tuned suspension here in the SE, you're going to like the way it drives. It's going to be like a little go-kart. Yet the sus suspension is supple enough to soak up the city bumps and not feel like you're driving on a buckboard or sitting right on the ground. It has some give in the suspension, making it more pleasurable to drive. And for 2015, they've added things like the anti-roll bar to the SE, the unique steering calibration, and the four-wheel disc brakes, making this a really nice package. And I can't forget the extra sound deadening for 2015. Now remember, this is not a complete and total redesign. That's going to come down the road, and we expect that this vehicle will eventually be built side-by-side -side with the Mazda 2 and have the Sky Active engine technology in the future. But for now, the Yaris is exactly the way you find it, and it is a competitive vehicle out on the landscape, and one if you're looking for a city car you should check out along with our review of the 2015 Nissan Versa Note, and we hope to have other city cars coming at you down the road. You can even check out our, our previous reviews of vehicles like the Chevrolet Spark and even the Scion IQ, and so on and so forth. I'm Jonathan McGrew for Real Auto Reports right here at a, well, very snowy Real Auto Ranch, and we will see you down the road.